<clears throat> as you can see that tank needs to be cleaned wiped down on the glass mainly water changes are maintained these yellow shrimp are very active and there are the CPD fry there's more up here too and usually more over in here As you can see, Big Girl is still being scaped. I haven't decided what I want to do quite yet, but something along those lines looks alright. Haven't decided yet, but that may become a stingray tank. Since I lost my female, I relocated Big Blue to retirement home. He is going to hang out in here and be happy. His stress bars are out a little bit from the change, but he is happy and out hanging out with everybody. I have yet to escape this tank really, I just threw all the plants in here. There's my gold nugget, one of the three in here. You guys want some of these? I know you do. Don't get out of here. Squeeze that on there good. They go nuts for this stuff, man. There's another one. So big girl still undecided. Soon to be salt water tank. Soon to be salt water tank. Just need to go down and get her drilled at Kennedy Glass. And for those of you who doubt I'm still on the true bucket system. There you go. There's Sebastian's home and Mutumbo. Who has claimed Sebastian's spot and he's not the happiest guy about all that. This is where the cobalt and blue diamonds are gonna end up after their quarantine session. That is coming down right after this video. I'm going to transfer those guys over there, next to their childhood buddies. I know it's pretty hard to get good video over here at the glare of the 40s behind me, but they're doing great. I do not have a light on them at the moment, but that's where the other pair is going to go. I've got some white packing paper in between. 10 gallons galore for whatever breeding project I'm working on. A goofy little fish I want to bring home. Things that come in that I don't have space for. Random plant floating tank of Anubis. Hongsloy down there. Pertensis up there with a little browner water than everybody with the Indian almond leaves. And the Bolivians are down there. When we come over here. We got the sapphire ruby babies, with most of them starting to reach that two inch state. They are happy little boogers. Rufus and Rita hanging out, doing their thing, loving life, being spoiled as usual in their own tank. For some reason, they're the only fish that always have their own dedicated tank, but that's because they are by far my faves. Rufus is just a beast. Quarantine for when I get the uh, CBDs and stuff in. And this is the other quarantine that the new discus shipment is in. And the lighting is not the best, as I don't want direct light on them for the first few days. Just let them settle in, and they've got some food there. When I walk away, they'll all swarm up there and hang out. I'll stir them up a little bit, though. 
Oh, you're fine. That beast right there will be staying with me. He is a blue panda. He will have a white body with striated fins. Cobalt. They'll have the black line in the eye. And as you can see, the uh, blue diamond does not. And their color's not fully in yet from shipping. There's an orange panda. He's a little sad. They all seem to be shaking pretty good through the move. Yeah, shipment definitely hit the orange pandas harder than anybody else. But we all know that blue diamonds and cobalts are one of the more hardier discus species to begin with. But that, my friends, is a blue panda and a cobalt trying to steal the show, but... And that right there, facing the other way, is another blue panda. And those two will be my keepers. Maybe not. That one blue panda is a little football -y, but... I need... Well, that's the new shipment. Pump them full of good protein foods, giving them two water changes a day. They're happy. I'm really happy about that guy, even if he just does end up in the retirement tank. He is beauty. They're warming up to me. At first, they wouldn't even come out here, see them peeking around the filter. They would all hide like flat, anything they could to not be seen. So they're getting happier by the day, and they're starting to come out. They see those worms, and they're curious, but they have no idea what I'm doing with this camera. So that's their first experience. But as you can see, cobalt with the stripe, blue diamond without the stripe. Cobalts have a little more of an icy look to them than the blue diamonds. Like that ice blue. Well, that's where I'm at, guys. I'm going to get back to work. I just wanted to update everybody where stuff's at. I've got a few more tanks you haven't seen yet, but we'll get to those in the next part. Peace.